Ron DeSantis. Whoa. The dude creeps me out with his obsession with fifth graders' menstrual cycle. I think years from now, we're going to find out terrible things were happening under his leadership in these schools. And case in point, look what happened when he was a teacher. I'm just finding this out that he actually partied with 17-year-old girls bringing them beer. Learning this from Midas Touch, who Donald Trump, I guess, recently threatened. If you follow them, they've been giving great news on all his trials. And this is coming after Ron said something bad about Trump. And look what's down there. Big Brother's digital dollar. Decrypt is announcing that DeSantis is trying to do some thing where he bans central bank digital currencies. Saying that they're surveilling and controlling the society. We need a fund that can help extract people from Florida who don't have the money to leave. So, if you live in Florida, you can't have the, the uh, U.S. Federal Reserve's digital currency. I mean, people really need rescued from this other country called Florida because none of this is even constitutional or enforceable. But on top of that, this is like saying, like, you can't have dollar bills in Florida. Just bizarre. And it's also an attack on our, the reserve currency status of the U.S. dollar. We found out that a lot of things that Republicans are doing are an attack on that. Because part of the reserve currency is that people trust our law and order. And they trust our reputation. And uh, these Republicans... They're just making it so our country's falling apart and people really have to question it. On top of crypto to begin with, and you know I like crypto and everything, but I also live in America and I don't want my currency to fall apart at the same time. And I'm serious about this Operation Extraction. Living in another s state shouldn't be a death sentence if you have atopic pregnancy. It shouldn't mean you have less rights and that you can't even have dollar bills or CDBCs, the Fed's digital currency. And on top of extraction, isn't there any like government lawyers who actually just look out for human rights like the ACLU or something like that? These states should be getting their asses sued left and right.